Spatial data doesn't always come wrapped up neatly with a bow as a feature class. Sometimes it's messy, like this data. It's 1,500 text files, each of which represent a crime from the Madison, Wisconsin Police Department. Here is a report of shoplifting at a store called Pink in the West Town Mall. Now, each of these reports is unstructured text that has a description of the crime, including things like the address, the date and time, and other details. Now, traditionally, turning this kind of unstructured text into useful data would be really time consuming. Now, with the natural language processing built into ArcGIS Learn, we can do this simply and quickly using the new entity recognizer model. So the first step in our process is to label the data, which we did using Docano. It's a common tool for this kind of workflow. We, we labeled 150 of these reports, looking for parts of the text that represent things like the crime itself, the address, the date and time, and any other features within the text that we want to be recognized. Next, we create our entity recognizer model and we train that model using a similar syntax and training experience that we saw both Shannon and Dimitri use. Well, this is one of the really powerful things about bringing together all of these different deep learning models into a single integrated module. It's the consistency and the ease with which I can go between these different problem types. So once I've found a model that I feel good about, we go through and we save that model and we apply it to all of our reports. Now, this is the part of the process called inferencing. It's where we're going through that unstructured text, we're looking for patterns in that data, and we're pulling them out and turning them into structured, useful data. Well, now that we have addresses, we can send this data frame right to our geocoder, publish the results to our portal, and look at it on the map. And we can see that each of these points holds within it the original text, as well as things like the weapon, the reporting officer, and other details. Well, now that we've completed this first step in the data engineering process, we can bring this data into Pro, where we can further validate, explore, and analyze it. We can QA the data, we can look for temporal patterns, we can analyze it to look for clusters. Well, this started as kind of a mess of unstructured text, and we're able to turn it into useful data using the new na natural language processing in ArcGIS Learn. Spatial data science is a key capability of ArcGIS. Everything from data engineering to the built-in sophisticated spatial science to communicating the results of our analysis. And watching today, are some of the world's most talented spatial data scientists. You understand the value that location can bring to data science. So look for opportunities within your organizations to bring that spatial perspective and to do the kind of spatial data science that our world needs.